Hey folks, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. This is a paid request. It's time for Walker. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both things are down below in the info box. And this is for uh, my reaction to his rankings. Uh, if he put the Bad Boys, Beverly, Beverly Hills Cop, and Lethal Weapon films together, and he ranked all 12 of them from... He likes all of them. He puts it, there's no bad movies on the list. He want to make that clear. But his rankings and my reaction to it. Well, first and foremost, I, I definitely disagree with his list. As I'm looking at it over here. But his list is number 12, Beverly Hills Top 3, which he feels is underrated. I do not think that film's underrated. I think that film is rated as it should be. It's a piece of crap. It's a terrible, horrible movie where the first five minutes are bad guys in a chop shop singing to the Supremes and dancing. Because that's what a Beverly Hills Cop movie needed was bad guys singing and dancing to the Supremes. That's the movie where Axel Foley walks around in an elephant costume. And uh, yeah, that's a movie where Eddie has a gun that has a microwave and sings Jerry Lewis music. And there's still people that tell me that Barry Hill's Top 3 is better than Axel F, the fourth film. They're crazy. I mean, I know it's people's opinion that I don't want to be an ass, but I'm being an ass, so I apologize ahead of time. But I, so I'll, I'll take that back. But to say, I'm like, how? Oh. Is that when people told me Ninja Turtles Three is better than The Secret of the Ooze or Road Cop Three is better than Road Cop Two? I get the answer is people have different opinions, just like I do. And many times I'll say stuff, and people go, "What? You're crazy." So I get the sentiment. Trust me, I get the sentiment. But also did the other sentiment that you think I'm crazy and I think you're crazy. We're all crazy. Just as a crazy world. But uh, I don't think Barry Hill's top three. Which, I mean, he puts it lower than Axel F. So that's, you know, I agree with that. But, yeah, people said that Axel F is so much worse than Barry Hill's top three. I'm like, you're, are you trolling? Like, sincerely talk to me and tell me how that's the case. But again, I know there are people, some subscribers, that feel the same way of that. And in all sincerity, teach their own. We agree to disagree. I'm dumbfounded by it. I'm in disbelief of it. I'm confused. I don't get it. But it's not my job to get it. It's their opinion. I got my opinion. We all have opinions just like we all have assholes. So deal with it is what I say to myself. Big deal. Doesn't affect anything at the end of the day. It's people's opinions. So. <laughs> but that was my like, honest reaction. Like, what? Really? But then I'm like, okay, it's my real asshole reaction. So. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm being an asshole. I know I can admit it. So, there you go. <laughs> but I am one, so I admit it. So, apologies in advance for people who take the issue with that. I don't mean to. But Bill's top three he feels underrated. I disagree. I think that's a turd in the wind. Axel F number eleven. I disagree. I would put that higher. Number ten, Barry Hill's top two. Heavily disagree. I would put that much higher. I would say Beverly Hill's top two would be in my top five of this. Number nine, Bad Boys Two. Heavily disagree. I would put that in my top five. Number eight, Lethal Weapon Three. I would put that higher on the list. So, okay. I'll just... 12, Beverly Hills Cop 3. 11, Axel F, the fourth Beverly Hills Cop. 10, Beverly Hills Cop 2. 9, Bad Boys 2. 8, Lethal Weapon 3. 7, Beverly Hills Cop 1. 6, Lethal Weapon 2. 5, Lethal Weapon 4. 4, Lethal Weapon 1. 3, Bad Boys 1. Two, Bad Boys Ride or Die, Bad Boys 4, and number one, Bad Boys for Life. 
So then his favorite to... And he likes all these, but... Bad Boys for Life, Bad Boys Ride or Die, Bad Boys 1, Lethal Weapon, Lethal Weapon 4, Lethal Weapon 2, Barry Hills Top 1, Lethal Weapon 3, Bad Boys 2, Barry Hills Top 2. I definitely disagree with this list. Number 1, Lethal Weapon 4 I don't think should be a top 5. I mean, that's just me. I don't hate Lethal Weapon 4 like I used to. But I don't see how Lethal Weapon 4 is better than the second film. I definitely don't see how it's better than the third one. Uh, I definitely don't see how Lethal Weapon 4 is better than Beverly Hills Cop 1 or Beverly Hills Cop 2. I would say Axel F was better than Lethal Weapon 4. I don't see how Lethal Weapon 4... How is that better than Beverly Hills Cop 1? I disagree with that. Bad Boys Ride or Die being better than Lethal Weapon 1... I like Bad Boys for Life. I don't think that's better than the first Lethal Weapon film. I definitely don't think Bad... I mean, Walker sent in a request for me to review Ride or Die. I'll wait for my review of that. I'll just say this. No. I do not think Bad Boys 4 Ride or Die is better than Lethal Weapon 1 or Beverly Hills Cop 1 or 2 or Bad Boys 2. I think Bad Boys 2 beats the hell out of these new Bad Boys films every step of the way in terms of humor, in terms of action, in terms of spectacle. Maybe Bad Boys for Life has a bit more heart. I'll give you that. But Ride or Die, I'll get to that later. But So I definitely disagree. My ranking would be Barry Hills Top 1. I would say is my favorite of all these. Bad Boys 2, Bad Boys 1, Birdie Hills Top 2, Lethal Weapon 1. I think those top 5. Part of me wants to put Lethal Weapon 1 higher. I'm kind of mad that I'm not doing that. Because I do love Lethal Weapon. But I do like the others as well. Like I think all 5 of these I liked almost in the same ballpark. Like, Barry Hills Cop 1, I could watch the most of all these. Bad Boys 2, just an insane thrill ride. I think Bad Boys 1, just the the energy. I don't know. I mean, now that I think about it. I take that back. Lethal Weapon is number three. I take that back. I would say Burials Cop 1, Bad Boys 2, then Lethal Weapon 1, then Bad Boys 1, then Burials Hills Cop 2. So that, that'd be what it is. Burials Hills Cop 1, Bad Boys 2, Lethal Weapon 1, Bad Boys 1, then Burials Hills Cop 2. So I, I got changed. I had it on my letterbox differently, but I think like, I was trying to remember movies. Oh, oh yeah, Lethal Weapon. But I gotta change the ranking on that litter box. I'll probably forget, but I gotta change it. Because uh, Lethal Weapon 1 is a classic. Then Lethal Weapon 3, Axel F, Bad Boys for Life, Lethal Weapon 2, Lethal Weapon 4, Ride or Die, The Braille's Top 3. So, do I hate Ride or Die, or do I think it's just not that good? You don't have to wait to see. But yeah, uh, I don't think Bad Boys for Life is... I like the film. I do. I think there's a lot better. Bad Boys Ride or Die. I don't think it's as good as people made it out to be. Axel F, I thought was a nice surprise. So I would put that definitely higher. Especially how Bad Boys Ride or Die stole from Axel F. Because it's the same writer. And he wrote... And, that move, Axel F was made first. So I find, I find like he just took stuff and stole it and then put it in Bad Boys Ride or Die. <laughs> so. Granted, Ride or Die came out first, but Axel F was made first and written first. So. Again, just saying. 
But yeah, Barry Hill's top one being that low, I disagree with. Lethal Weapon 4 being above Lethal Weapon 2 or 3 or Bad Boys 2 or Barry Hill's top one and two, I disagree. Ride or Die, Bad Boys for Life, I would not be in the top two. I definitely don't think they're better than Barry Hill's top one or Lethal Weapon 1 or Bad Boys 1. But that's just me. This is just my opinion. And I do not think Barry Hill's top three is underrated. I think it deserves to be buried six feet under. Because is a piece of shit. That's just my opinion, though. But have your own list. Have your own opinion. Think for yourself. Gives a shit what I think. So, thank you, Walt, uh, Walter. I don't know why I almost call you Walter. Maybe because that's my middle name, Walter. <laughs> but thank you, Walter. I appreciate it. I'll try to get to the Bad Boys Ride or Die review as soon as I can. Uh, I still got to record and stuff. So I apologize. Just been hectic lately. I didn't. Did I hate the film? I didn't say I hate the film. But maybe I do hate the film. But maybe I think the film's okay. Maybe I think the film is alright. Maybe I think the film is good. And as good as people make out to be. Maybe I think it sucks. Maybe I think it's a piece of shit. Maybe I think, oh, it's alright. I don't think it's good as people make it, but alright. But again, I'm not saying it because that way... It make, make you intrigued to watch the review when I upload the review. <laughs> and not give it away. So. Thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you guys later.